stop. Many experts warn of a stock market crash any day now. And if it's anything like the last two crashes, you could lose 50% or more of your hard-earned savings in the Wall Street casino. Can you afford to lose half of your retirement savings again? Hey, you don't have to lose a penny because there's a better, safer way to save for retirement. And you can learn all about it in a free report. This is the report Wall Street and big banks desperately hope you never see. Why? Because this method continues to grow your money even when the market tumbles. It lets you take back control of your money and finances. And it gives you penalty-free access to your savings. Plus, it beats the pants off any 401k or IRA. These are uncertain times, so get the information you need today to guarantee your retirement security. To get this free report, go to bankonyourself.com right now. That's bankonyourself.com. Bankonyourself.com. Radio. It doesn't require you to drive by it, pick it up and read it, or even sit and view it. You see, radio moves with the consumer. Fluidly. From the home. To the car. To the office. To the gym. To the pillow. Before bed. 245 million Americans spend at least two and three quarters hours a day listening to the radio every day. Radio will drive sales for your business. Advertise with Freedom 970. Visit Freedom970.com and click on the Advertise With Us button now. So this year, I ordered my prom dress from Shady Deals, and when it came, it said, some assembly required. I ordered these batteries for my digital camera, but the batteries weren't included, so I had to draw all of our family memories. I ordered a 60-inch TV from Shady Deals. What they actually meant is, you can't sit further than 60 inches away. Be a savvy consumer, research businesses, report false advertising, and settle transaction claims with the BBB. Test your advertising IQ. Go to bbbandtruth.org. The Lars Larson Show. Do you know how to get to higher fuel economy? The fastest way to get to higher fuel economy is not by having the president pass down a new cafe, the corporate average fuel economy. The fastest way is to get people to buy newer cars. Do you know how you can get people to buy more fuel-efficient cars? Stop making the car companies try to figure out new ways to make old technology more efficient. The 9 p.m. on Freedom 970, Portland's right place to talk. Keeping you informed. This is America's first news. news continues on this fourth day of April. New this morning, world stock markets sliding Wednesday after China announced details of its plans to retaliate against the proposed U.S. tariff hikes in an escalation of trade tensions between the world's two biggest economies. Beijing and Washington detailing plans to hike tariffs on a broad swath of imported goods from each other in a series of rapid-fire announcements over less than 24 hours that ratcheted up tensions over their trade dispute. China issued a $50 billion list of more than 100 U.S. goods, including soybeans and aircraft, targeted for a possible 25% tariff hike, releasing it after trading ended in most Asian markets. Beijing was responding to an announcement hours earlier by the Trump administration outlining proposed tariffs on 1,300 imported Chinese products, including industrial robots and telecoms gear. That's a protest Beijing. That's a trust technology. China's envoy to the WTO, Beijing would challenge the U.S. move. The Commerce Ministry said the date the tariff hikes take effect depends on whether the U.S. acts to raise its duties. And uh, markets uh, this morning here at home have been in the red uh, for quite a while since uh, China announced that uh, markets right now. Dow futures down 448. Uh, S&P futures uh, in the red 35. And the NASDAQ futures are down 103. So we'll continue to keep you updated on uh, developments as they become available. Meanwhile, now federal regulators have found that the contract between Amazon and the U.S. Postal Service is profitable for the, post of, uh, the Postal Service. However, President Trump wants the tech giant to pay more. The President on Tuesday accused of Amazon, accused Amazon of costing the Postal Service billions of dollars. When you take a look at the post office, you take a look at the post office, and the post office is losing billions of dollars, and the taxpayers are paying for that money because it delivers packages for Amazon at a very below cost. And it's not fair to the United States, it's not fair to our taxpayers, and Amazon has the money to pay the fair rate at the post office, which would be much more than they're paying right now. The other thing is a lot of retail businesses all over 
subsidizing. We're giving a subsidy to Amazon. And we're talking about billions of dollars a year. The real cost. And a report just came out. They said a dollar forty-seven, I believe, or about that, for every time they deliver a package. The United States government, meaning the post office, loses a dollar forty-seven. So Amazon is going to have to pay much more money to the post office. There's no doubt about that. Amazon stock finished higher Tuesday, but it's taken a beating since that Axios report said that President Trump was, quote, obsessed with the company. The next day, the president made it known on Twitter he's long thought Amazon has gotten too big. The U.S. auto sales grew 6.3% in March, a rising sales of SUVs and pickups. Automakers sold more than 1.6 million vehicles for the month. Snowy winter in much of the country. Uh, truck and sales, uh, truck and SUV sales were up 16.3 percent, while car sales plunged 9.2 percent, according to auto data. Uh, nearly two thirds of all vehicles sold were trucks or SUVs. Sky News could be sold to Walt Disney or completely ring fenced in concessions put forward Tuesday by Rupert Murdoch's 21st Century Fox and seeks to bolster its chances of taking full control of the UK satellite broadcaster. Uh, sky, anyway. The proposals are aimed at easing some of the regulatory concerns over the extent of Murdoch's influence on British media if his 21st century Fox is cleared to buy the 61% of Sky that it doesn't already own. Uh, that would be at a cost of 11.7 billion pounds. That's at 16.4 billion dollars. 17 states and the District of Columbia, along with six cities, have sued the government, saying the addition of a citizenship question on the census form is unconstitutional. The Trump administration's decision to ask people about their citizenship has set off worries among some Democrats that immigrants will dodge the survey altogether, thus diluting political representation. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announced the lawsuit on Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for a very simple reason. Article 1 of the United States Constitution requires the federal government every 10 years to conduct a full and fair count of all people in our nation, citizen and non-citizen alike. This requirement comes from the founding of our republic. For decades, administrations from both parties have viewed this constitutional requirement with the respect and reverence it deserves, but the Trump administration is out to destroy this bipartisan tradition. It, it is important to realize that to get an accurate account of our communities, the census has to send people door to door to get responses from those who haven't submitted their forms. The prospect of someone saying, I am from the Trump administration, knocking on your door to ask a question about citizenship would understandably provoke real fear. This is not just a matter of trying to be accommodating or not accommodating to immigrants. The Constitution requires...